two miles the trip for our first race. And they're off. They raced away. They'll jump eight in total, one in the straight this first circuit. And John T. Freya and Jack Quinnan in black and white colours uh, will lead them down to flight number one. A horse with no name, Maroon Jacket, about two lengths behind. She takes it in second place. And the other four were virtually in line. Right over the far side with a yellow cap is Nina the Terrier. She's just in company now with Theatre Glory in dark blue and orange colours. So be up between those and a half length back. Uh, maybe to L.A. Bell running in fifth place and then Spez Energical, check jacket and dark blue sleeve. She's the back marker of the sextet as they come to the end of the home straight and race away to the far side. So Jaunty Freya, black and white jacket, leading about two lengths ahead. A horse with no name, James Byrne in the maroon and black, as Mary was runner-up in this race 12 months ago, holds second place at the moment. And then Theatre Glory, winner of both of her starts, John Joe Neal Jr., the mainly dark blue, is running in third place, followed by the yellow sleeves of Nina the Terrier, Tom Bellamy, Nina the Terrier, in search of her fourth win in a row. L.A. Bell in pink and brown colours is alongside her. In fact, landed just ahead of her as they get over flight number two. Uh, Harry Skelton uh, on L.A. Bell. And then just at the rear of the field as they come to number three is Spez Energical. Now Adrian Heskin on board this mare is making her debut in the UK, having been successful many times in France. She's about three or four lengths behind the other quintet as they make their way down about the last mile and a quarter now and running on towards flights numbers four and five. Out in front, Jaunty Freya, still a two, three or length leader or so. A horse with no name, going to take this in second position. Uh, a couple of lengths behind those is Theatre Glory. And then L.A. Bell and Nina the Terrier continued race virtually together in fourth and fifth places. And Spez Energical is behind those as they move down towards the end of the back straight. They all cleared flight number five successfully. And it's quite a long run now before they'll uh, jump again. They have three more to take all in the home straight. So it continues to be uh, Jaunty Freya, about a two-length leader, still pursued by a horse with no name. A strong-going theatre glory continues to be about a length and a half or maybe two lengths behind her and runs in third place. Then one off the running rail is L.A. Bell in the pink and brown in company with Nina the Terrier, yellow sleeves and yellow cap. They both move stylishly along together in fourth and fifth places. And Spez Energical, who at one stage would have been four or five lengths behind the other uh, five, is now sitting right on their tails but still continues to be the back marker. They come into the straight then in the Lambrooks Mayor's Novices Hurdle. Three to jump, Jaunty Freya yet to face the challenge. She continues to be out there in front, sitting right on her tail, though now is a horse with no name who shifts to the right as we look down the track as they jump three out. Theatre Glory is behind those. Lovely jump there from a horse with no name who takes it up and quickly moves easily to a two-length lead. Theatre Glory, her stable mate is in pursuit in second, then L.A. Bell in third. Uh, Nina the Terrier, the yellow cap continues to go okay in fourth position at the moment. Jaunty Freya has weakened back into fifth place as they take the second last and behind those is Spez Energical. Now a horse with no name uh, sitting right behind a L.A. Bell off to the right is Nina the Terrier with the yellow cap. Theatre Glory still in the mix. They come for the final flight now and down is Nina the Terrier number one of four at the last flight and it's now L.A. Bell and Harry Skelton who've taken it up in the closing stages. A horse with no name is Two to three lengths behind in second place, and these are now clear from Theatre Glory. And L.A. Bell is well clear as she reads up towards the line to win in good style. So L.A. Bell and Harry Skelton, the winners, a horse with no name in second place, then Theatre Glory and Jaunty Freya. Dan Skelton is the winning trainer of L.A. Bell. Congratulations, Dan. Uh, you must be pleased with the way she's progressing. Definitely. She took me by surprise the first day. She really needed the run quite badly, and I didn't think that would be the case. I thought she may just improve a bit for it, but she stone cold blew up at the back of the last, to be honest with you, the last day. She's last year a very buzzy horse, and she was easy to train. She got herself a bit fit this year, a bit older, a bit more sensible, and, and you have to do more with her. I just completely undercooked her for the first day, and now she's felt the benefit of that. A bit slower ground. Um, and we know after, after last year's bumper form that she's very talented. Mm. And a stronger run race probably suited her as well. It's going to be 
very helpful going forward. The stronger the run, the better for her. Jumping will improve. It's still a little bit raw, and Harry had to hold her hand, especially at the last. You know, the, the stride before wasn't an option. Um, so yeah, you've got to help her a little bit with that. But class does get her through at the moment. When you step up to the big leagues post Christmas, she's going to have to improve her jumping. Absolutely. So, what big league targets have you got in mind? I don't know. I don't know exactly, but she'll definitely hand a slower ground. Um, I'll have to just give it a real bit of thought. I'm not just going to go and just go and run her at Kempton on Boxing Day, for instance. Sake. That wouldn't be the right thing to do. Um, we're in a lucky position now. We're in a listed race. We can pick and choose. Um, she wouldn't be one for Taunton too tight for that other listed mare's race. So we just have to be a bit sensible with the targets. The mare's novices race at the Cheltenham Festival, does that appeal in the long term? It does, yeah. And that would be a target. I'd want it to be on the, you know, really on the slow side. Mm. But mind you, there's only two hurdles in the last seven furlongs. So that would bring her more into it, uh, <laughs> you know, for that reason. But I, I'd like to see some slow ground for her, really. Yeah, and the stiffer track as well will yes. do her well. Yes. Rest of the day, then.